leaps in there. You know Aaron Rodgers. Does that sound like him to you? Any great quarterback, any good quarterback has that mindset. So sometimes I say that to other people. I was going to say, no so idea. that's why you don't say bad words or I don't know. But okay. It's the anyway. second shot in a 16-minute show. Know. I mean, you know, we're on ESPN. I am too. not as good of a quarterback as Aaron Rodgers. Who is? Breaking news. Uh, let's talk about the Jets a little bit more right now. I didn't, I didn't look it up. It would have been great if I asked you who was the, who and was I their, knew it. Who was the, four, the uh, fourth divisional team they're not playing. <laughs> well, John Calipari is gracing us with his presence on the NFL Live set. So glad to have the head coach of the Kentucky Wildcats here. And I will say the background may make some people wonder uh, if you're not a Steelers fan, this is really awkward because of everything. But I've heard you like Pittsburgh. Talk to me about it. I grew up in Pittsburgh. Steelers. You're the Steelers fan. Got it. Wins and he's in the top 15. Never had a losing record yeah. in the NFL. That's ridiculous. They're going against 35 year olds. <laughs> okay, good point. <laughs> but uh, you know, the, the biggest thing he does is he, he builds confidence. Yeah. All right, final thing. I heard maybe you're going to the opener. I mean, imagine that. You know, the great John Calipari has to call somebody up. <laughs> hey, Mike, that's coming. Thank you so much, Coach, for being with us. We wish you Thanks. the best of luck with your really Thank talented you. team this year in Kentucky. Thank you. Great to have Coach stop by, and we got a lot more fun coming your way here on the show today. Okay, coming up next, we're going to bring Adam Shepard yeah. back. <laughs> exactly. To give us a little more detail on Jonathan Taylor's timeline. Oh Plus, God. you don't want to miss how this rookie quarterback is working to get better, and what does this have to do with that? Okay, that was us doing the hip twist uh, a little while ago. Look at Lewis doing the hip twist. What is Lewis doing? I don't know. Dan... You know how to do it. You're going to show people next. Of course I do. It's going to all get back to Anthony Richardson, okay? <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I'm going to rank you guys one, two, three. Oh, boy. I'm so We're also on the Pat McAfee Show today. Um, I also, love how Josh was like, don't know if I can say it. I'm <laughs> but gonna. I'm going to say it anyway. And, uh, you know, McAfee, of course, notable Colts fan. You're pretty dialed in, though, on this process of the digitally mapping out mechanics. It's pretty interesting. You're looking at what it would look like. Uh, why do you guys go through this process? Uh, efficiency. You know, like I had to make some calls. I, you heard Josh talk about Mike Hess, I believe. Uh, Tom House has done this for a long time. I actually reached out to Adam Daydow, who works with the 3D QB and a little bit of Jordan Palmer, to kind of figure out a little bit of what this is, why guys do it. And it's really, you know, for many ways, we were taught as younger kids to kind of like throw through, right? You'd always say like finish and through. And what those guys have learned over the years is throwing is not as much linear, and this is Josh as well, as it is rotational. And I yeah. think that's something that Anthony Richardson is going to have to learn and go through that process of is really learning how to rotate his body more than linearly throw his body almost like as a straight line. And you saw there was a couple yeah. when the rotation comes, and I remember Joe Burrow was talking about this, as, yeah. and everyone was like, well, Joe Burrow is really accurate. He wanted to be even more in control of the football, and I think that's where Anthony's going to have to go to. It, really fast, it was interesting. Bryce Young doing it without his arms even, so that there's more, much more emphasis on the hip, right? Yeah, I mean, because what they want is, you, like, there's moments when you slide forward with your hip to go throw, and that's when... It can kind of affect the release point of the throw and, and kind of cause some inaccuracies. What you want is when that front foot strikes into the ground, it kind of rotate your hip because then there's a disconnect. And you know, that's the thing when Dak Prescott does this, you want your disconnect to go back and then everything kind of sequences a little bit. So often when you slide forward, there really is no disconnect. Yeah. Everything's kind of staying in line. So I think that's the big thing for Anthony is, you heard Josh say his mechanics are so good, but there are moments when the release point is affected by a sliding of the front hip rather than a rotating of the front hip. He just hip. hadn't played that much. What yeah. does the tape that you've seen so far show you, especially as it relates to mechanics? So this, this clip's a really good example. I want to play it for everybody at home because they're hearing us talk about it and whatnot. You're going to see Anthony told me today, watch every single rep because he said when he's lined up, meaning when he gets everything in alignment from ground force, again, guys have learned that the ground not only helps power of the football, but mm -hmm. control and accuracy. So watch every rep because when it's lined up it's freakishly good it's going to just take them mapping it out and right. those kind of finite corrections how hard do you think that's going to be to apply to the game with work ethic it's it's very very feasible very feasible we've seen josh do it we've seen joe burrow do it amongst others i can tell you uh knowing anthony richardson at florida the work ethic's there so, absolutely uh, i i think he'll apply himself well all right we got time for uh, i absolutely would do that okay i do love the movies um i, I feel like anytime there's a movie selection on a plane i just like tom keep, cruise you watch it he does a little bit probably a little 
you all like Maverick better than the original Top I Gun? I do, but I'm, I, I like all the, oh the stories to the whole thing. You got a little Lady Gaga there for everybody. Dan, I just don't know if I see you doing that, though. I would 100% do it. You think you would pass out or be sick? Well, I would care. That's why I'm a firm no on that. <laughs> I'm absolutely going to do it. And I'm going to go 9.1 G's like Tom. You think they're the going to invite you to do it? Hopefully off of this show. Oh, uh, this is a commercial for him trying to get that. We'll see you tomorrow. Week away from the kickoff of the NFL season. That's why there's a big one next to me. Welcome to NFL Live. This time next week, we're going to be preparing for Lions Chiefs presented by YouTube TV. Welcome to NFL Live. Really fun show coming your way today. We've got a lot to get to, of course, just a week out. And we've got our friends here, Mina Kime. Bill Barnwell joins us today as well as Kimberly Martin with the latest around the league. We'll get to some news in just a little bit. Also later, a report from Bengals practice on Joe Burrow's health. But let's begin with big weapon. It's going to work out. All right. So, Bill, we start with you. What are your expectations <laughs> for this Fields and more duo? Because we all felt like the second that OBJ was uh, got signed there, that, that felt like Lamar was staying. Patriots and Devontae Adams, still one of the best wideouts in the game. So, Mina, what does this look like for the Raiders? Should be a really fun duo. It's an NFC South. It feels like it's anyone's to win. So, Mina, what do you think to the playoffs? All right, still to come here on NFL.